Greetings to all viewers at Phương Thảo. We are delighted to accompany you and the new segment of 24 Hours Channel. Our team of professional editor takes pride in being the fastest and most accurate news channel. Have there been any noteworthy update today? Stay tuned to find out. Dear friends, Super Typhoon No. To enter the coastal area then strengthened and made landfall on the coast of Guangdong province of China, causing 12 provinces and cities to be severely affected including Guangdong, Guangxi, Jiangsu, Anhui, Chending, Fujian. Especially in Zhejiang province, where the hardest hit, with the strongest wind in the area near the center of the 14th grade strong storm from 15 to 260 km per hour, level 6 danger. In the northeast coast of Zhejiang province, at 4.15 am, yesterday morning, the location of the storm center was at about 17.5 degrees north latitude, level 12, about 260 km per hour from the center of the storm. The storm that passed, accompanied by intense rain, moved inland causing landslides, destroying about 7,800 houses. The storm also destroyed many trees and swept away many cars. Yesterday, in Wenzhou city alone, local government officials said the death toll from Typhoon No. 2 reached 170 people, and 2,500 others were injured, while 1,100 people were injured, are still missing. Meanwhile, in Wangding, Fujian, and Jiangsu provinces, too, were severely affected by floods and landslides caused by the storm, with at least 49 people killed in these three provinces. Nearly 14,000 people remained in evacuation centers and more than 23,000 people lacked electricity and running water due to the typhoon that made and fall in China yesterday morning. The storm brought record rainfall and caused heavy damage to all areas of the provinces. More than 3,000 houses were damaged, 250 houses were completely destroyed and 4,500 houses were flooded. Total damage is expected to continue to soar due to the lack of complete statistics. Some provinces are still flooded due to the impact of storms. Meanwhile, China is forecast to continue to suffer more disasters caused by the storm. The state news agency Zinyu reported on Sunday that there will be more rain and colder weather. Chao Nine, head of a disaster information service center, said the extent of the floods was worse than the catastrophic floods that hit Henan in 2020, but the impact was not as bad. The report says the top concern is for airports and the accompanying cold weather. The torrential downpour in Shaanxi province, he said, was the third heaviest unusual downpour this year to occur over a large area in northern China. This year, more than 300 people in Henan have been killed in herbal floods earlier this month. Record-breaking rains hit the province, causing flood discharge reservoirs to disrupt riverbanks, public transport and railway systems in many cities due to flooding. Most of the deaths occurred in the capital Vincho, where rainfall is more than 600 mm, roughly equivalent to the average annual rainfall. China has suffered turbo floods, severe dike breaks. Severe flooding in central, northern and eastern China caused severe dike failures, affecting hundreds of thousands of people. Authorities in flood-affected areas in central, northern and eastern China are calling for enhanced response measures, such as embankment reinforcement and 24-hour patrols to protect lives and people's property in heavy rain days. The Global Times reported that in northern China's Shaanxi province, the lower reaches of the Fen River experienced its biggest flood peak in nearly 40 years due to continuous heavy rains. The dike break in the section of the river near Trudong village, Xinjiang district occurred at about 5 p.m. yesterday. The length of the broken dike reached 20 meters. More than 10 large-scale machines and more than 300 people worked hard to patch up the stone and brick problem. However, as of 9 am today, the hole has not been patched. More than 1,800 nearby residents were safely evacuated. Shanxi province issued a third-degree emergency response measure to control flooding yesterday, following casualties in house collapses and landslides caused by heavy rains. More than 20,000 people in Shanxi have been displaced after heavy rains hit the province over the past few days. Heavy rain in Shanxi has lasted for the past four days and is forecast to continue in the coming days with rainfall in many parts of the province exceeding 100 mm, even 200 mm of historic highs. Dear ladies and gentlemen, there is one thing that people often say the disaster is not alone. The blessing is not the same. The disaster that China now causes is not only in the country but has spread to the whole world. There are many people who have even cost when they realize the true face of the Chinese government. It has always been desired that there is a retribution for the country's leaders, not to mention the head of the Communist Party of China, Mr. Xi Jinping. In terms of human humanitarianism, 
We don't expect bad things to happen to the innocent people of China, but what this country is suffering and will certainly have to face next. In the future, it is very difficult to reverse. The Three Gorges Dam was a ticking time bomb that was 10 times more powerful than an atomic bomb. If the serious problem says that this is when it breaks, then surely the political map of the world will no longer have the name of China, and the turbo number will reach tens, even hundreds of millions of Chinese people, will be swept away by floodwaters. While China is still beating the chest to claim the king, specializes in bullying and quarreling with the whole world, going around spreading terror. In the context of the first flood on the Yangtze River causing serious damage in many provinces and cities, Chinese President Xi Jinping had a very unusual new direction when he issued an order to strengthen the military's engineering force. Chinese team arrives at the Three Gorges Dam. According to the Global Times, two days ago, three engineer brigades of the Engineer Corps of the People's Liberation Army were present at the Three Gorges Dam to carry out rescue and relief work. The Three Gorges Dam is releasing floodwaters with a flow rate of more than 49,000 cubic meters per second, the strongest discharge since the dam was put into operation in 2003. There is concern that the Three Gorges Dam is crashing. Encountered an incident or problem when for the first time in the history of the Chinese Communist Party government mobilized so many engineering forces. Dear audience, according to China Dyke observers, if the flood discharge rate is not continued to increase, it is forecasted that tomorrow the water level in the projection of the Three Gorges Dam will be at 165.5 meters. By design, the Three Gorges Dam can withstand pressure when the water level reaches 175 meters, which means that it is less than 10 meters away that the resistance of the Three Gorges Dam will reach its maximum limit. In addition, the landslide upstream is still ongoing in the past few days, so more than ever the whole world is holding its breath and waiting for its fate. The fate of the Three Gorges Dam, whether it can stand or not. According to China's Irrigation Ministry, 117 large reservoirs in the upper Yangtze River and several other large hydroelectric dams will participate in controlling the first flood and reducing pressure on the Three Gorges Dam. Although it was forecasted early, the second flood still caused serious damage to people and property in some provinces and cities such as Chongqing, Sichuan, Gansu, Yinan. The water level of the Yangtze River flowing through Chongqing has reached its highest level since 1981, when a historic flood cost 1.5 million Chinese people to lose their homes. 260,000 people in Chongqing were affected by the flood. Floods, many highways, structures were flooded and damaged. At least 20,000 businesses in the city were damaged and had to stop operating. Records from the scene show that floodwaters engulfed even 3-meter-high signs in some city streets in Sichuan. Authorities and people are still trying to protect the legacy of the Leshen Great Buddha statue from damage. Due to floods, floodwaters have reached the foot of the giant Buddha statue, which is more than 1,200 years old and has begun to recede. This is the first time since 1949 people in Sichuan have seen this phenomenon. China's Ministry of Water Resources said that the second flood, along with a geological disaster, left 14 people dead and 20 others missing in China's Yunnan province. According to the Yunnan provincial government, nearly 40,000 people have been evacuated to safety, while 1. 1 million locals have been affected by the floods. It is very worrying news when Yunnan province is one of two places bordering our Vietnam border. Currently, according to sources of local people at the border gates, there are many Chinese people on the other side of the border looking for all sorts of ways such as bribing people to lead the way through forests, rivers, and streams at the border. Minor roads. They want to enter our country to hide, but our border guards are still around the border day and night, on duty 24-24 hours, determined never to negotiate with them. Many people in the online community at home and abroad believe that being benevolent towards the enemy is shooting yourself. Humanity needs to be in the right place and in the right place. The Chinese people have always been confused. Who dares to ensure that there are no international elements, rebels, and most dangerous people who are carriers of the COVID epidemic? Going back to the natural disaster situation in China. According to the statistics of the Bureau of Calculation, the initial damage estimate for the southern provinces of China up to now is about 453.7 million US dollars. The Gansu provincial government said the province was still working to restore communication, electricity, water and transport systems while continuing to rescue stranded residents. Helicopters are also currently deployed to rescue people who are still trapped in their homes without time to evacuate. At least five people have died and two are missing. Flooding affects more than 400,000 people and about 72,000 people have to be evacuated. Gensu government announced. 
in Chongqing at around 8 am the day before yesterday. The water level measured at Fangting Station on the Yangtze River reached 191.55 meters, 0.14 meter above the record level and still rising. Chongqing is located on the confluence of the Yangtze and Jialing Rivers. The river system in the city is dense, while the terrain of Chongqing is mainly mountainous and difficult to drain, officials from the Central Management Center said. Chongqing emergency manager commented. The second flood caused Chongqing to lose 354 million US dollars. More than 260,000 people were affected. Yes, dear viewers, this concludes today's new bulletin. We say sorry, thank you, and all of you who have been following our news. We wish you and your family good health and happiness. If you find our content value, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon in the top right corner of the screen to stay updated with the lasting news that we will be providing. Now, goodbye and see you again soon.